You know, you're exactly where you need to be when you're tuned in to Expresso right here on S3. And my friend, our Feel Good Breakfast show is all about celebrating greatness, which is why this morning we have an award-winning gospel queen. In fact, she's gospel gold. And she's someone who genuinely always just gets us into the spirit. We say hallelujah, honey, and amen. I am talking about the fourth most streamed female artist in South Africa on Apple Music. It is none other than Lemu Sikhumela. Everybody make some noise. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, how are you today? I'm very good. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good. Yes. Yes. It because I had the espresso tea this morning. Oh, babe, <laughs> come on. I love it. And of course, you're feeling good because Kept by Grace exactly. is coming up this exactly. weekend. Exactly. My love, I know that we're going to be getting into that very, yeah. very soon yeah. because of how big it is. Mm -hmm. But we need to start from the beginning. Let's do that. It's such a difficult industry to break mm -hmm. into when we speak about the music industry and then even more so gospel. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your journey in terms of starting out. How did you break into the industry and how long did it take? Wow. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's a long journey. Um, mm. So I'm on my eighth album, sure. uh, which is the one that I'm recording now. Yes. Um, I think everybody started knowing me on my fifth album. Really? My first cassette was then titled uh, King Wana Hao. Yeah. First cassette? Uh -huh. Ha, Lebu. <laughs> Lebu, you look two years old. What do you mean a cassette? No, my first cassette was King Wana Hao. <gasps> and um, I, I was new then when there was uh, CD restored, um, yes. you know, Lion of Judah and uh, Take Your Alone and all these other songs in the album. Yes. And which was then my fifth album. And, wow. and now I am recording my eighth album. Yeah. Mm, that's so incredible. It has been an amazing journey. Yes. Yeah. I love it. And I think that it's such a beautiful thing for you to be yeah. able to tell your story yeah. because so many people can draw inspiration yeah. from it. Yeah. But then let's speak about this mm -hmm. because we know that in this industry there's a lot of rejection. Yeah. What kept you going? Even when you were hearing all those no's, what kept you going? Ah, I'm going to do this. Ooh, I remember going to Coca-Cola Pop Staff for auditions. Oh, <laughs> and, singing, and singing, there's a hero. If you look inside, inside your heart. heart. And then thinking that my heart was going to be like, you know, well motivated. Yay. But I did not get the opportunity because it was not yet time. Mm. I remember going to um, a, a joy celebration for auditions. Yes. And they're like, no, girl, you don't have it. Oh, you know? my word. But that did not, um, you know, did not drop me or mm. did not put me down because I knew there's greatness in me. Like Come there's on. greatness in everybody. Mm. You know, um, when you go through scripture, you find that, you know, the Lord saying to Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, but I knew you mm. and I had plans for you mm. and, you know, um, to prosper you. That's Ooh. a beautiful word, yeah. you know, and, and I knew that God has amazing plans for me and um, I did not give up because I believed in the gift that God has given me. So here I am. Yeah. You know, Unexpressed, yeah. darling. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. With the gorgeous. Oh, stop, Lebu. <laughs> I'm the one who's honored. And babe, yeah. I also know that, yeah. you know, so many different opportunities have come yeah. along yeah. for you. Yeah. But one that sticks out for me yeah. is the show that everybody has watched in South Africa. <laughs> How did that opportunity come about? Because that is your oh, voice. Wow. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, I was just called in. Um, I did not even know what a voiceover was, yes. you know. So I was called in uh, to come to the studio. I remember it was Abe, Abe Sibia, mm -hmm. you know, then who called me and then I went in and then they're like, okay, there's a song. Then we had to go through it, go through it, uh, you know, and then they're like, no, you need to do it in an African way. Yes. You know? uh, say, 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 Ah, you know, like Ooh. all those things, you know, Kumbulekaya. <laughs> yes. And um, I mean, it has been an amazing, and it has been an amazing one. And yeah. um, I look back and I'm grateful to God for every and every single opportunity. Yes, yeah. I love that. I mean, it's something <laughs> South Africans will never forget. Definitely. It is etched in our minds forever. Yeah, definitely. But this is what I also actually need mm -hmm. to ask, because of course that was a little bit different to gospel, yeah. right? Yeah. Will you ever go outside of the genre of gospel? I've done that. Okay, uh, tell us more. <laughs> My sister, because we know so, you for your gospel. So vibes. I did a song with uh, with DJ Cleo. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, a long time ago we did a song, um, Casanova. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a song about you know this guy who was a uh, womanizer, ah. you know, like you know a cheater. That that guy, you know. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So like I go into studio and they're like, you know, you get you're gonna do the song, you know, and yeah, I'm like standing there, you know, um, singing about. I've never been rejected, so I don't know how it feels like <laughs> to sing about this man. <laughs> yes. But I did. I did a, a, a song with him. I was able to do a song with Jub Jub. I was able to do a song with, you know, Benjamin Dube. So like, you know, just singing with different people. I mean, now recently with Dumim Gokstad. 
So I'm grateful for every opportunity. Yes, yeah. my love. That's yeah. beautiful. And of course, it's <laughs> led you up to this point Definitely. where this weekend yeah. it is the Kept by Grace live recording. Ooh. Tell us about it and what do we need to know for everyone who wants to be there? So... <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a life transforming. You know, I think everybody has a reason why they're grateful, yes. you know, to, to God for whatever that He has done for them. You know, it might be life, it might be you waking up in the morning, mm -hmm. it might be being able to see your loved ones, you know. Um yeah, so we we are kept by grace, you know, so we have a story to tell. So I'm recording at the Carnival City this coming Saturday. Yes. And it's gonna be amazing. Beautiful. And I've got a book out. <laughs> oh, and you've got a book out. I love it. Yeah. Amazing. We're going to hear more about it. Thank you. But you need to stick around Expresso Family because Lebo Sikhoela is in the building. She's going to be blowing us away with her voice. But for now, it is the top of the hour. So let's find out what is happening in the news headlines with Ryle. It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh man, you see those ladies right there, those are my queens. But here in Johannesburg, I'm also with the queen, someone who is just doing the most. I'm talking about Lebo Sechobela. Lebo, I am so excited for this weekend, kept by Grace, your amazing show that is coming up. Please, for anyone who wants to be there, such as myself, mm -hmm. where do we get tickets? So you get the tickets at, at Compute Ticket. Mm -hmm. um, they're starting from 350, and then you can get for your friend, for a family, for a sister, brother. Yes. You know, let's, let's come and celebrate together. Exactly. Let's be in the spirit together. Definitely, definitely. Exactly. <laughs> but then, of course, when we were talking about that yeah. earlier on, you mentioned a book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Please tell us about it. So, wow. I've been I've been writing, you know, and jotting down the thoughts and, and seeing how God has, you know, taught me so many things about sure. myself and also about life. You know, mm. um, the importance of forgiveness and, and the importance of understanding how to fight, yeah. but fighting well. You know, Come on. Um, so that's a book, you know, um, Kept by Grace. That's also the title no. of the, yeah, so that's the title of the album. That's the title of the book, um, because literally we have been kept, all of us, we have mm. a testimony and a story to tell. So the book is going to be available on the day. Love it. Um, yeah, so everybody can just come, um, yeah, with a heart expected. Definitely. Come on. I feel like it's a season of kept by grace, it a season is. of grace in itself. Definitely. Beautiful. We are within grace because uh -huh. now we're about to be uh, blown away by uh -huh. your beautiful voice. So, Expresso family, I'm going to need you to welcome it to the carpet, the queen. I told you earlier on, the fourth most streamed female artist on Apple Music in the whole entire country. It is Lebo Sekhubela with none other than Umudima Wamuha. <laughs> Oh, 